today's Rhapsody of Realities, written by Pastor Chris Oyahilume, Thursday, 28th May 2020. Humility in serving the Lord. Likewise, ye younger, submit yourself unto the elder. Ye, all of you, be subject one to another and be clothed with humility. For God resisted the proud and giveth grace to the humble. 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 5. Over the years, I have seen highly spiritual gifted Christians, including ministers, whose work turned to emptiness because they weren't walking in humility. No matter how highly gifted you are, when it's mixed with pride, it's not acceptable to God. Your desire should be that whatever you offer to the Lord in ministry and in your service to Him be accepted, being sanctified by the Holy Spirit. Everything you do in the house of God is an offering to Him. Your service is a sacrifice to God. But God won't accept your sacrifice if it's mixed with selfishness and greed, pomposity, pride, and arrogance. Greatness in the house of God isn't measured by some result that you have achieved or attained. Our opening verse says, God resisted the proud, but He gives grace to the humble. Humble yourself is something you must consciously and deliberately practice. When thought of pride arise in your heart, rebuke them. The Bible says, And whoever shall exalt himself shall be abased, and he that shall humble himself shall be exalted. Matthew chapter 23 verse 12 So, you see that it's either humility or humiliation. The scripture are replete with stories of those who were proud and how they ended up abased. But God doesn't want us to go in that direction. Correct and guide yourself with the scriptures, with the wisdom of God at all times. Being born again, you were born great and truly great men are always humble. Keep working in humility for it's a great blessing and the pathway to promotion to God. Prayer Dear Father, I am submissive to the authority, influence and impact of your will. Pride, arrogance, haughtiness or egoism have no place in me, for I walk in love and humility, experiencing ever-increasing greatness and unlimited progress in life. In Jesus' name, Amen. For that study, 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 4 to 7, 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 5 to 6. Meditate on these words. Give yourself wholly to them, that your profiting may appear unto all. God bless you.